Nestor Cortez hopes that they put some runs up on the board early for him. It's a battle of lefties in game two Friday night in the Bronx. It'll be Nestor up against Charlie Barnes, who will be making his fourth start for Nestor Cortez. Jack coming off a really nice outing against the White Sox. Six innings of one run ball. Yeah, his best start of the season. He's made six starts for the Yankees. They've won five of those games. He's just a treat to watch out there on the mound, Bob. He takes pitching to an artistic level. He doesn't throw 98. His fastball is going to average about 90 or 91. He might be able to get that velocity up to about 93, but it's where he spots it. It's where he throws it. It's him reading swings. It's the different arm angles. It's the hesitation. It's the quick pitch. He really does a lot of fun things on the mound and makes it very difficult for hitters to figure him out. You literally just listed like five things that would just confound a hitter right there. I, I've got David Cohn <laughs> in, in my head right now telling me all the things that he tried to do on the mound. And one thing that Coney said, and I always think about it when I watch Cortez pitch, is the reason that not a lot of pitchers will drop down and sling it the way Cortez does or kind of go Laredo like the way Coney did is because it's not easy to do. Guys are used to one release point. Think of Mariano Rivera. Repeat your delivery, repeat your delivery. So when you can add a little deception and when you have the ability to change your arm angle on the fly and still throw strikes, that's advantage pitcher and that's advantage Cortez.